What's up? It's Ruby. Welcome back to a new video. So I have decided to completely and transformatively and totally and utterly change my style. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I did it and how I changed my style and how you can too. If you want to either develop your personal style, start from scratch, or if you want to change it from something to something else, then this video is for you. And I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into it. So if you've been following me for a while, then you'll know my style as this, this, and this probably some of this as well. These are kind of like, I would say my iconic pose and repeat moments, outfits, styles. And I feel like this kind of aesthetic I really built in like 2020, 2021 and carried through for those years. And I was kind of became known for that like colorful aesthetic, you know, mirror shot. And I love that style. I mean, it was part of my style like it'll always be part of my style evolution, I think. But I just feel like in the last year or so, I have felt a disconnect from that. And I just feel like I, I really don't like relate to that style anymore. And I want to kind of go and expand and go into the next like era of my style. So welcome to a new era of pose and repeat. So also I haven't really been posting fashion content because I was kind of lost with what direction to go in. I didn't like, I wanted some time to develop my style. So I needed some space and some distance from it. That's why I kind of cut back on posting. I'm posting like here and there on my Instagram and even on YouTube, it's like less fashion videos because yeah, I just wanted to take time to like really develop what my style is going to be and really be, have a clear vision of it before I can like share stuff, if that makes sense. But now I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to show you what it is. So we're going to go through step by step and discuss how you can either go up creating your style from scratch or from pivot from one style to another style if you're just feeling like you're bored of your style or if you want to change it or whatever. So step one is assess slash analyze, evaluate your current style. So I looked at my current style, which is very colorful, very youthful. You know, there's a lot of mixing of patterns, mixing of color combinations and stuff, which is really fun. And within my style, I also feel like I have two subsets so the first one is the very like feminine like soft feminine flowy dresses and skirts like cute mini skirts and like little tops like that kind of vibe and the second subset is more my streetwear like tomboy kind of style which is when i decide i want to wear an adidas matching tracksuit so when i look at that style there's definitely elements that i want to keep mainly the colorful aspect of it all i just can't imagine the day that i decide i want to wear only neutrals like i just don't think that that's ever going to happen for me so once i decided what elements i want to keep of my current style then i moved on to step two so step two is inspo research and creating a mood board now obviously this is the most fun step because you get to go scroll on pinterest for ages and pin stuff that you like and you just get to create this whole board slash vision of what your new style is going to be it's fun it's so fun it's like the funnest part so i basically went on pinterest and tumblr and i started to save images to a board which i liked and which i thought fit in with my new direction so after some time i figured out the aesthetic that i want my new style to be and that is french girl style it's been like a, a classic for years and years it's like just the typical french girl style which is very much focused on classic silhouettes staple pieces not too many different things almost like a capsule wardrobe of things that you can rewear with different outfits and over and over again for years to come so i wanted to develop that kind of a closet and obviously the french girl style is very minimal it's very neutral so i wanted to bring in a more colorful approach to the classic french girl style french girl aesthetic so it's basically going to be colorful french girl style and i'm so excited okay so here are some ideas from my inspiration my pinterest board that kind of fits in with the colorful french girl style and i'm very much inspired by these images i just feel like it's so fun as but it's also very classic and very elegant and that's just kind of like who i want to be you know <laughs> so now we're moving on to step three which is cleanse slash purge your closet so the timing of me deciding that i wanted to completely overhaul and change my style was great because it was also around the time that I was moving apartments in London. I was already due for a, a big closet clean out. So I basically, when I did my closet clean out, I was like, okay, what do I want to keep that fits in with my new style? And then everything else I got, you know, I can sell or get rid of. I didn't have time to sell. I didn't have time to get on Depop and ship off a bunch of parcels just because like moving was so busy. So I would recommend selling anything that you don't want on Depop or Vinted because it just gives you extra income to spend on new pieces for your new style aesthetic. I definitely would have sold stuff if I had time, but I just, I just didn't. So I ended up donating. But yeah, it's all, donating is also good too. So now we're going to move on to step four, which is build your wardrobe with staple pieces. I also want to say here that I wanted my style still to be very mainly vintage slash thrifted. As you guys know that I, I mean, pose and repeat, thrift, 
<laughs> yes, like that's always been my thing. I love vintage, unique pieces and thrifting. And I wanted my closet to be basically like 80% like thrifted vintage. I definitely have some pieces and I definitely would invest in new pieces from brands such as typical like Parisian or French girl brands such as um, Rouge or Re Realization Pa, Jonac, Claude Polo, uh, Marge. Yeah, there's heaps of brands that I would definitely invest in. I mean, those, those pieces are priced slightly higher, so they would be more of investment pieces. But other than that kind of stuff, I definitely want everything to be secondhand and thrifted and vintage. So I did some extensive research into what a French girl would have in her closet. What are the typical closet essentials in the French girl aesthetic and style? And this is what I found. So for tops, we have sh lots of shirts, lots of pretty and cute, very feminine, dainty blouses with cute details, lots of bows. For bottoms, we have well, the trousers, they're mainly well fitted and they feature a tailored type of style. The cuts for skirts are generally longer, though some well fitted mini skirts also suit this style. So there are a lot of feminine dresses in this style with pretty necklines, mainly a longer length, like a midi or a maxi length, and then a few kind of like mini pinafore kind of like silhouettes as well. Shoes, okay, for shoes. The queen of shoes of the French girl aesthetic is the loafer. Yes, honestly, I went on Vinted, I typed in loafers, I typed in my size, and like five pounds, seven pounds. Like there's so many options for really affordable prices. And this is why if you are gonna do this, I would 100% recommend that you should build up your new wardrobe with vintage pieces or thrifted pieces because it's so like, it's affordable to do it. And I know like you don't wanna spend all your money on like a whole new wardrobe if you wanna change your style. Like I totally get that, but you could allocate a, a budget of like what you have and what you're able to spend and Vinted is a really really good option for these kinds of pieces they're like classic pieces that are gonna last you so long that you pay like five pounds for literally like I paid for a pair of Massimo Dutti, Dutti which is a great brand like it's a high level brand and I paid like 10 or 12 pounds for those loafers so good so we have clean and simple styles of sneakers nothing too crazy maybe like an adidas a white adidas sneaker really classic for the autumn and winter knee high boots are a must and for the spring slash summer high quality sandals are a staple so for accessories simple leather handbags and a basket bag is such a parisian like french girl staple jewelry gold jewelry silver jewelry and just any jewelry that you have because the accessories are really important to kind of like pulling the whole look together and making it a cohesive outfit and a cohesive aesthetic. So now I'm going to show you my capsule wardrobe of this new style. These are pieces that I've already had in my closet from previously, things that I have thrifted overseas in thrift stores, wherever, Australia, Europe, London, and things that I've got have gotten off vintage. A lot of this is vintage stuff. And yeah, so basically I can mix and match like these pieces to create outfits. So stay tuned for an outfit video. There's going to be an autumn outfit ideas based off of this new style coming next week. And yeah, I'm just so excited to share this and show you guys. Okay, so let's go through my current capsule wardrobe. So let's start with jackets. The classic French girl Parisian thing is a trench coat. So I have this one, which is perfect for the autumn time. It's a bit lighter and I love the color. I feel like it's such a nice substitute for the more like beige trench coat that you will see Parisians wear. I just love this sage green color. I feel like it's so nice. And then we also have a blue one, which is a little bit more, it's a faux leather. It's a bit more thicker, better for winter, maybe a bit of a colder autumn day. Then we have this amazing jacket that I thrifted. That's basically like the acne one, but for like a fraction of the price. I definitely have black leather jackets. They are a staple in my closet and they have been for years. So I will be carrying that through, but I just wanted to show you this one because it's a little bit different. It's more of like a washed gray leather and I just feel like it's it's so nice. It's just beautiful. And I feel like it's a great option to wear with jeans um, and then maybe like a colored, colorful top. And then we have these two leather blazer slash jackets type of situations. So just again, really nice, easy to wear and easy to style leather jacket options. I would probably style this with like a mini skirt look, a mini skirt and, and knee high boots or even a long skirt, midi skirt and some loafers would be nice. Jeans, you know, these are very versatile pieces that you can style in a lot of different ways. Then we have blazers. I feel like blazers are quite a staple in the Parisian French girl closet. And I have this one to show you. It is thrifted from Melbourne, I think, but I love the lilac, obviously. It's got some shoulder pads, which, you know, gives some nice structure to jacket. And it's not too much of an oversized slash like big fit for me. It's like kind of like a nice, 
a nice fit, you know, a normal fit. Then we have some knitwear. Uh, this one is from Cezanne, you know, great Parisian French brand. And I love the chunkiness of it all. And I love the dark green color. I feel like this color is probably more suited to what typically is found in this type of aesthetic. They go for reds and maybe like darker tones of like greens and blues. Then I have this really cute knit that I thrifted from Vinted and it's got this detail, this like tie detail. It's really cute and I love the color and I love the fit. It's perfect. So I can't go without mentioning Miette, which is my friend at Roxanne's Parisian brand. Check it out. They have amazing stuff exactly in this aesthetic. Like exactly. It's like colorful, but like Parisian style. So this piece is amazing pink and red it also comes with a matching a skirt which i could not find for this video but yeah cute, super cute cord set so these two i would say are very chic very you know preppy kind of aesthetic which is kind of a crossover into these type of styles and i love this print i feel like this is very much like a classic is this houndstooth and then we have this and i love the detail of the silver is that silver or is that gold whatever that is, which I can match to my jewelry. And I like this kind of like Chanel-esque inspired skirt. Moving on to some longer skirts. Oh, we have we have also this uh, mini skirt. This is from a Revolve. I have a few Revolve pieces in here, which I'm really excited to show you guys. This one, it has like sparkles on it. So when you wear it in the light, it like glistens and it sparkles. It's very cute. Probably style this with like maybe a colored shirt and some loafers like this and loafers match made in heaven okay so let's move on to some longer skirts so i have these two both from vintage i just love this one i feel like this is not something that i have seen before this kind of like tiered frill i just feel like it's a really unique piece and i really really love it and i love the layered lace i feel like it's super femme super girly and i love it then we have this one which i'm yet to wear and i'm really excited about how to style this piece it's you know it's like very ballerina type of vibe which i love and it's lined and it's got the two kind of layers super cute super pretty it would be really nice with like a corset top or like a v-neck crop or maybe even denim like a denim top which would be nice to contrast with the white and then some ballet flats so we have this longer skirt which is really classic kind of parisian color like a, a more of a neutral so if i would probably you know i could pair this with this I feel like this would be a really nice combination. Maybe with some green loafers for the sandwich method. Everything that's not thrifted will be linked down in the description box. So this is what this one's from Revolve. I will link this. Then I really, really love this next one. This is also from Revolve. It is a matching set. So we have this top here and it's got the bows, the tie front. And then we have the skirt here. It's also tie on the side and it's got like a slit. It's just like, I just like it's super like classy and the red is very French. Like the one color that they do include is red, but I really love this and I can't wait, like I'm waiting for like an occasion to wear this too because it's so beautiful and it's so pretty. I will link it in the description box. Now moving on to some denim, we have these two jeans, pair of jeans. They are, this one is not thrifted. This one is from weekday. It is the style Arrow and this one is thrifted. It is vintage. Calvin Klein. So the silhouettes are basically a straight leg or otherwise a flare. Those are the two that I feel like exist the most in this kind of style. I have gone for a low rise waist here. This one is straight leg. Both of these are straight leg. This one is more of a low rise and this one is a high, high waist. So I've got these two options. I haven't pulled a flare from my closet, but flares are definitely part of this style. Flares knee high boots. And I've got this pair of Denim shorts, white classic. Great for the summer with a shirt, loafers, ballet flats, just like easy, simple look. But then I've got these two dresses. This one is really, really pretty. I love it. I got it for like five pounds off of Vinted. I like this lace kind of like red situation, red and pink. And then we have this blue dress, which I think is really, really pretty. It's from Camila Coelho from Revolve. And it's got the tie up shoulder straps and it's got the bit of a slit it's feminine but also like classy you know the vibe and then we have this really pretty picnic dress which i didn't even get to wear this summer but i feel like it's such a cute summer spring option i'm gonna have to wait either till i get to australia to wear it um in january or till next summer in london so yeah but i think it's really cute and pretty so we've got the puff sleeves which i think is a really nice touch and then the back is so pretty just like the tie back and then we have this is just a really nice like day wear dress. I got this from Sydney when I went thrifting and I'm a fan. Next we have some occasion dresses. So these ones are ones that Ralph Lauren so ever kindly sent to me last Christmas. And 
They're just so beautiful and I just feel like they fit this style and aesthetic so perfectly. This one, the pink, hot pink and yeah, you know, these are just dresses that I'm going to have in my closet probably forever. And so moving on to tops, we have these two shirts. This one is from Ralph Lauren Thrifted. This one is from Revolve. Classic white shirt with a, I don't know, it's a bit different to like a normal white shirt. It's a bit more exciting. It's got the tie front, which is great. And then this one, not a classic. The color is just something else. Barbie pink. We love it. Okay, so I have a basic white tank top, which I think, you know, is really nice with probably like my Calvin Klein jeans, some Adidas sneakers or even ballet flats or loafers. And then I have these two really pretty tops this one is thrifted from barcelona and i still haven't gotten a chance to wear this i actually lost this for like so long and then i recently found it so i'm really excited to style this and i feel like it just fits the aesthetic really really well and then this one is really pretty top from revolve the ruching is really nice and i love the color coming up to the final things so we have this top it is from claude perlo which is one of the brands that i mentioned earlier it is a typical french brand and this is just such a typical French top, you know, the red, the white, the frill, the neckline, everything is perfect. Then we have these two tops in kind of a similar style. It's the pretty blouses, like it's this type of style has tons of like pretty blouses, this kind of like soft girl, you know, feminine aesthetic, which is really, really nice. Then we have this top from Rouge, which is another brand that I mentioned earlier. And it's just such a pretty blouse. I, I'm like honestly in love. I have to show you, this is the outfit that I was wearing today. So that's why it's not on the hangers. But this top is just so pretty. And I was wearing it along with this skirt and I feel like it was so French girl. Yeah, with this skirt. And they're both from Rouge. Oh no, this one, this skirt is from Rouge and this one is thrifted. Okay, so let's move on to shoes real quick. So Mary Jane's classic classic in this type of style. I love these. I literally just thrifted them a couple of days ago and they arrived and I was like, oh my God, they're so perfect. They're even more perfect in real life than they were on Vinted. Honestly, obsessed. The baby pink, amazing. Then we have these ones which are more classic, patent leather. Again, both both from Vinted, both thrifted. You can find these like just for really good prices and I know that they're good quality. As I said, red is a really staple color in this aesthetic. So I got these, how cute are they? Like the little flower detail, obsessed. Red patent, classic. For boots, we have these brand new boots from Charles and Keith. Uh, they're the perfect winter autumn boot, knee highs. Amazing, love the gold hardware on them as well. No, sorry, they're from Pedro. They're from Pedro, not Charles and Keith. And finally, the last thing is bags. First, we have my Jacques Mousse, obviously French. Hello. Obviously, I will be including this in all of my outfits. Then we have this really cute red bag, which is thrifted. And I feel like it's just like a nice classic, like everyday crossbody one. Then we have the straw bag, okay, which is a really typical Parisian thing. So this one my mom got for me. Before I even told her about my new style, she got this for me. It just perfectly matches the aesthetic. Then we have this one, which is also thrifted. I think I got it for like five pounds. And then we have this one, which I think is also cute. And then this one for more of like a formal evening kind of look. And that is everything. So that is basically how I changed my style and how you can too. This whole process probably took me about two to three months from when I decided I wanted a whole new style to this point now where I'm basically able to put together pieces from my new closet and fit this new aesthetic and new style. So I'm feeling so happy and confident with this new style chapter in my life. Obviously I'll continue to build and edit on this aesthetic and see where it goes. So I hope you were able to learn something from today's video. And if you did, then make sure to like and subscribe for more fashion content i will be posting a outfit video autumn outfit ideas video next week in this new style direction and i'm so excited about it so make sure to stay tuned for that so you can follow me on instagram at pose and repeat where i'll be sharing outfit videos and photos along with links to all my outfits and also i have a beauty page in case you didn't know makeup skincare and hair pose and repeat beauty on instagram and tiktok so if you're interested in that type of content then follow along there and if you have been thinking about changing your style then use this video as your guide and just do it because life is too short to not dress the way that you want see you next time bye um i forgot to say i cut all my hair off <laughs> so comment below if you like it and if you don't, then don't comment.